It's Tuesday. You know what that means. It's time for more Disney Dad Trivia. All right, welcome back to Disney Dad Trivia. I'm your Disney Dad, Jared Bradshaw, and I'm thrilled today because we have two actual Walt Disney World cast members with me. They're great friends of ours, and they're one of the reasons that we moved to Windermere, Florida this year. Let me introduce them to you right now. First of all, it's another Disney Dad, Adam Hose. Here he is. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Adam's here. I love this. You're wearing your Finding Nemo swag. That's right. I love it. Because you know what? Adam and his wife, Lindsay. Lindsay, come on in here. Yeah. Lindsay Hose. I'm so glad to have you guys here. They are both in the cast of Finding Nemo the Musical. Among other jobs and roles they do for the Walt Disney Company. Um, it's amazing. This is going to be so fun today. Are you guys nervous? Um, just a little bit nervous. I'm a little super bit. super nervous because I feel like these are going to be really hard. <laughs> well, some are really hard and some you'll go, well, of course I know that. And it's okay. all about buzzing in. I've set so, the expectations very low. Okay. On the way over, I said, mommy's definitely going to win. Okay, so, okay, good. Yeah. All right, wonderful. I love the ears. I love your, this is your softball hat, right? Yeah, this is our Lucky Thins softball, <laughs> which is our uh, softball, our cast, cast member softball league. I love that. Softball hat. Did you yeah. even know that cast members play softball? I just think that's yeah. cool. That's awesome. Okay, great. Now, uh, Lindsay, you've also been in Hoop to Do Review. I have. Uh, yes. You also have Dance Captain. Uh, yes, Dance Captain at Finding Nemo, Dance Captain of Wicked. That's how I knew Lindsay, as she and I did Wicked in New York. Wicked on Broadway. They did Wicked, Wicked Broadway, together. And I did the tour. Um, and yeah. Adam Adam has played Marlon in Finding Nemo for quite some time. Yeah, he, uh, a long time. He knows the ways of the Jedi, right? Over at Hollywood do, Studios. Yes, do the Jedi training. So cool. Yeah. And they have two amazing kids. And Lindsay's babysitting right now. So if you hear That's any right. kids' noises, um, you'll know what it is. Okay, yeah. Yeah. let's test out our buzzers. You really have to push into it. Don't slap it. Push into it. That's Got it. it. Okay. You right. want to do this, and it won't no. go. You have to push in. All right. Okay, let's get started. First question. You guys will probably know this. Okay. On what special day did Animal Kingdom open? Ah, Lindsay. Earth Day. Earth Day. You know what year? It's not, 98. 1998. Good. <laughs> April 22nd, 1998. Good job. This is Did great. Did not know the second part of that answer. Since you guys live at you know, Animal yeah. Kingdom most of the no time. Sure. Uh, Earth Day. April 22nd, 1998. Okay. What attraction at Hollywood Studios separates Star Tours from Galaxy's Edge. It is not a star. Muppet Vision. Muppet Vision 3D. That's right. <laughs> Isn't that weird that Star Tours and Galaxy's Edge are like separated by so Kermit the Frog? Hi, Blue Bear. Kermit the Frog. I was confused because I was going to say that that, that uh, merchandise store. But yeah, that's there, not an attraction. And there is the restaurant, Mama, whatever. The, the yeah. Rizzo. Yeah, Rizzo Pizza. Right. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's I'm okay. a lot of pressure now that I'm down 2 0. No, there are 23 more questions. Okay, <laughs> at least 23 more questions. All right. All right. Can you name, and you have to name all five, can you name all five attractions in Adventureland in the Magic Kingdom? Adam. Pirates of the Caribbean. Yes. Um, the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. Nice. I thought you wouldn't get that. No, I love that. Definitely it's like that. one of my favorites. Um, oh, uh, three Aladdin's. Flying carpet. Yes. Two uh, to go. The Tiki Room. The t Enchanted, Enchanted Tiki, tiki room. room. Correct, correct. And there's another attraction. It's, it's the biggest one. In Adventureland? Yes. <laughs> it's not Dole Whip. It's uh, something you can ride. Yeah. You've got 10 yeah. seconds. You've got 10 seconds. Okay. <clears throat> In Adventureland. <laughs> Six, five, four, three, two, eight. Oh, 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 the Jungle Cruise. The Jungle Cruise. Okay, I'll give it to him. <laughs> It is the biggest it attraction. Is the biggest it is huge. Show. Yeah. If you look at it on the map, good job. You made it. Okay, Adam is going through the map in my brain. Adam's on the board. It scored two to one. Very good. All right. And now we are done with that question. Okay. The original park icon of the Disney MGM Studios was a water tower with Mickey ears. Mm -hmm. What was the water tower called? The Earful Tower. The Earful Tower, that's right. We have a tied ball game. Yes. All of a sudden, so you had nothing to worry about. It's anybody's game. This is a very hard question. Okay. What is Big Bertha? Uh, Anybody? Is it, it doesn't hurt to guess. Yeah, is it the... 
Is it the boat that goes around the... the... Good, good guess. It's actually the organ at the Grand Floridian Hotel. Yeah, I didn't know that either, so I, I love throwing in some hard ones every once in a while. That was hard. <laughs> okay, get ready on your buzzer. Okay. I know you probably both know this. Okay. Tell me, what does Epcot stand for? Adam. Exper experimental Prototype Community of Tomorrow. Boom, another point. Three to two. You Very good. Because you've taught traditions. I know. That's true. I did teach traditions before. And if you don't know what traditions is, it is the class that every Disney cast member has to take. On day one. Their on, very first day as a Disney cast It's member. really cool. I got to do it for Disney Cruise Line. We rehearsed in Toronto, and I got to see all of the underground of Disney World. And you yeah. learn about how to exceed people's expectations That's right. Right. Yeah. the Disney way. It's yeah. awesome. And how to, you know, shave. You used to have to, like, shave your mustache. And, you know, it's yeah. really... Yeah, Disney the, look the, used the, to be the, much different than it is now. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> the score is still three to two. Oh. All right. You better know this. Who wrote the music and lyrics for Finding Nemo? I don't know who it was. I, I'll let you have it. I'll let you have it. Oh, that's so sweet. I love you. Kristen and Bobby Lopez. Kristen yes. and Bobby Lopez. That's right. Three to three. Can you name four other shows that they've written? Adam. Frozen. Yes. Frozen 2. Boom. Um, Bobby wrote uh, um, Book of Mormon. Correct. And... Avenue Q. Correct. That and was four. Yeah, that's it. You did great. Oh, Excellent. Okay. <laughs> um, Kristen wrote uh, In Transit on Broadway. Oh, right. Some other Transit, people too. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Doc, so uh, they are amazing. And the show really, Finding Nemo really is. It's a great show. Yeah. And uh, it's because it has great writers and great sure. cast members. Okay. And they've come to see the show. They come yeah, every year to see the show. And, that's amazing. And um, it's always very nerve wracking. But I get, did get to do it for them once. That's cool. Bring their girls. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Didn't one of their girls sing? Yes. Yeah. Right? right? She's saying, um, yeah. Tinkle in the woods! Was that one of them? Anyway, she's, she's, one of their, their daughters sang on the Frozen soundtrack, which is so awesome. Yeah. Okay, are we ready? I'm How, losing. The score is now four to three. Only by one. Okay. How many happy haunts are in the Haunted Mansion? Adam. 999 happy haunts. 999. <laughs> And there's always room for one more. Any volunteers? <laughs> okay, five to three. What was the name of the headhunter at the end of the Jungle Cruise? Oh, Aunt Lindsay. Trader Sam's. Trader Sam, that's right. And we know he's got great cocktails. He does. At Trader yes. Sam's bar over at the Polynesian. Okay. Which Epcot attraction provides guests with motion sickness bags? <laughs> Lindsay. Yeah. Uh, Mission Space. Mission Space, five to five. Very good. This is a tough one. I did not I feel like know. you're closer to the buzzer, so I'm going to keep my hand here. I'm, yeah, I'm one hand, here, one hand here on, thinking I was, like, I was not doing, I was one doing hand on the podium is what I love to do, and then okay. you can't keep it on there, but you can okay. have one on the podium. Okay, right. okay um, where are we? Okay, before Aerosmith, what band was approached to star in Rock and Roller Coaster? I did not know this. Um, you want to pick a rock band? Adam. Metallica. Good guess. ACDC. Actually, U2. U2 <laughs> was approached first. Oh. And they were like, a roller coaster? What? Oh. I don't get it. But okay. you know what? Aerosmith was like, da, 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 da! <laughs> um, great. So nobody got that one. It is five to five. Okay. All right. Okay. Rain. This is Florida rain. rain. That is past the hurricane. <laughs> okay. In Walt Disney World, what is the official tagline? It's the what place on Earth? Most, uh, it's the happiest place on Earth. It's actually, that's most Disneyland. Magical? The most magical place on oh, Earth. I, yeah, isn't that crazy? Disneyland? Disneyland is the happiest place on Earth. I thought. And Florida is the most magical place on Earth. Because right. you can't have two happy. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. And the only way you know this is if you see on the sign when you're driving through yep. I-4 and you can see. I was trying um, to make sure that Isn't that crazy? So the score is now six to five. Yeah. All right? Yep. Great. Okay. okay. Let's see. In Fantasyland. Which attraction replaced Mr. Toad's wild... Uh, Winnie the Pooh. Uh, the Adventures the of Winnie, Adventures Winnie, of Winnie, Winnie the Pooh. Correct. Yeah. We are now at 6-6. Six, six. Very good. You guys are doing great. Yeah. Okay. Main Street USA is based on Walt Disney's hometown of... Uh, I know this answer. Um, I know this mm. answer. It's... Uh, yes. Marceline. Correct. Yes. Do you know yes. a state? Uh, Missouri. Missouri, correct. Was Good it. job. Was like, mm, mm, it was inspired mm, by that. Mm, mm. I doubt it looked just like that, but uh, yeah. that's his hometown that he wanted to have that feel when he walked in the park. Really There's was. another, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, there is. Our son is, okay, so our son is obsessed with 
TPM videos. I know that's awful to say. No, it's not. No, it's um, great. We love them too. He wants to watch their, th that show all the time. And um, how old is he? How old is Perry? He's four. Amazing. <laughs> um, and he's memorized most of the episodes. And there was one, and it talked about Main Street USA, and everyone thinks it's Marceline, and that it's actually Fort Collins is where the, one of the Imagineers that worked on it um, he was from Fort Collins, so it's kind of an amalgamation oh, of That's both. cool. I love yeah. that. Great they, trivia. It's based on Marceline, but it looks more like Fort Collins. Yes. I downtown. love it. Yes. I love that. Fantastic. Okay. 1971. Can you name, this is multiple choice, name the opening day attraction. Only one of these was in the Magic Kingdom on opening okay. day. Are you ready? Yes. Space Mountain. Big Thunder Mountain. It's a Small World. Pirates of... It's a Small World. It's a Small World. Yeah. Correct. Seven to seven. We're yeah. tied again. It's a small world, of course. Pirates they... of the Caribbean was supposed to be an opening day attraction, but it was delayed because Walt didn't think that it was imaginative enough. And, so it, it, yeah, it, it debuted in Florida, uh, California first, and they were like, the Caribbean's right here. Do people really want it? And it's like, that makes no sense. Yeah. Yeah. People love pirates! Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> we have a tied game again, seven to seven. All right. All right. P. Sherman on Wallaby Way in Sydney catches Nemo as a gift for his niece. She murders fish. What's her name? Adam. Darla. 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 <laughs> Darla. Eight to seven. If you don't get this, you're fired. All okay. of a sudden, it jumped out of my brain. But, uh, okay, here's another into one. The net. Yeah, into the net. Okay, in Finding Nemo, what is the shark's motto? Lindsay. Fish are friends, not food. Fish are friends. Fish are friends. Fish not are friends. food. Yeah, not yeah. food. Okay, great. Excellent. We have a tie game. This is really good, guys. <laughs> Anything can happen. Right. Eight to eight. Okay. Stephen Schwartz, the composer of Wicked on Broadway that Lindsay was in, mm -hmm. he wrote songs for what three Disney films? Oh, I don't know all three. There are three. The third one is tough. You can name two, and I won't give you the point, but you can still name them. Maybe we can collectively think of the three. It's actually. I'm thinking of Prince of Egypt, and that's not. No, that's DreamWorks. Yeah, that's DreamWorks. Did you know that Stephen Schwartz wrote Prince of Egypt because they wouldn't let him work on Prince of Egypt and Mulan at the same time? Uh, Isn't that fascinating? So was Mulan one of them? No. Oh no, because he wrote that. Pocahontas, Pocahontas. Hunchback of Notre Dame, say Notre Dame. Dame. Excuse me, and Enchanted. Oh, with Alan Menken. Oh. All Hunchback three. Was the only one I knew. All three with Alan Menken. Good, good okay. trivia. Um, good. All right. In Finding Dory. Dory speaks what other language? Adam. Whale. Whale, that's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she does it in whale. Both. Yeah. She does it in both, yeah. Okay, good. I, I wasn't sure. Not because she does it in both. Okay, good, good. Good. I wasn't I wasn't sure and I haven't watched Finding Nemo, pardon me, in about three months. So um oh, only three, three months. months. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. when you have a seven year old. Yeah, yeah. She's Okay. Seven. Can you name four of five other nicknames? That Dory calls Nemo. Lindsay. Chico. Chico. Harpo. Harpo. Fabio. Fabio. Or is that three? That's three. That's One more. Uh... It's good. That's why I said four. Because three. Yeah. <laughs> At home, they're going. They're screaming it out loud. Chico. Harpo. Fabio. Uh... You want to steal? I don't get know. Four? <laughs> the other two. It's a hard one. The other two are Bingo and Elmo. That she said. Oh, Elmo. 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 Yeah. World. Okay, great. Elmo. All right. That's not, a, I don't, that's an old question. I've already said that one. Okay. All right. This one's really cool. What were Walt Disney's last words that he wrote down on paper? Um, it's an actor's name. Oh. Isn't that crazy? Um, let me think of an actor that he would have. Wanted in a... Julie Andrews. Just guessing. It's Kurt Russell. Oh. Those were his last words. He had just signed a 10-year contract, and he was like, you're going to have a long career. They were friends, and he wanted to write down something, and he wrote Kurt Russell and didn't write wow. anything else. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Pretty crazy. Uh, Kurt Russell, there's a cool video on YouTube if you want to hear him talk about it. Hmm. And they, I think they waited two years to tell him that. What did he sign a 10-year contract to do? With, with Disney. The, how the computer wore tennis shoes and all the movies he oh. did. Uh, through the 70s. He was probably the biggest Disney star in the 70s. Anyway. Okay. What are the names of the two lakes that surround the... Adam. Bay Lake and... 
that steps around the contemporary hotel. Yeah, Bay Lake uh -huh. is the one that's behind it. Uh huh. And in front of it, in front in of the Magic Kingdom, is five, four, um, three, two. One for the Steel Lindsay. Like seven Seas Lagoon. Oh. Seven Seas Lagoon. I'm going to give that tie the ball game at nine to nine. Uh, you're like, I know that. I've ridden on that boat a gazillion so times. Many times. Okay. All right. At Walt Disney World in Florida, which theme park is the smallest and the largest? Adam. Um, Animal Kingdom is the largest. Correct. The smallest is the Magic Kingdom. Correct. Excellent. Great job. Some people would, might think I, that Epcot would be the largest. I would say yeah. Epcot. And they might think probably based on capacity. And I think when Hollywood Animal Kingdom has the highest capacity, really? I think. Yeah. yeah. I think when Hollywood Studios opened, it was the tiniest, but now it's expanded. Yeah. Um, very cool. Okay. Cigarettes are not sold in Walt Disney World. Okay. What else isn't sold in Disney World that goes in your mouth? Adam. Alcohol. <laughs> no, they sell alcohol. Would you like? They the, used to not. At the Disneyland, steel. they don't sell alcohol. Uh, Straws. Uh, they don't sell them. I don't know. If you buy, if it's, you buy the answer. Drink. The wait, answer was. Wait, can I try to steal it? Uh huh. <laughs> Stealing back. Cigarettes are not sold, but also something that's not sold is gum. Gum, chewing gum. He got it. Eleven to nine, chewing gum. Buy is not drinks sold. and they don't give you. Straws. That's right. Now it's all they paper straws, straws and they get all like, uh, <laughs> and they get all um, moist. Okay, here we go. Um, at Walt Disney World, who has more costumes, Mickey or Minnie? Lindsay. Mickey. Mickey, yeah. correct. Mickey has 290 costumes and Minnie only has 200. Wow. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> uh, in 1971, the closest person wins. How much was admission at Walt Disney World in 1971 when it opened? Um, right now it's like 129 bucks. What do you think it was in 1971? I'm going to say it was $19. $19. I'm going to say $25. You were closer, but nowhere close. It was $3.50. Oh. $3.50. But you get the point, yeah. 12 to 10. Isn't that crazy? Wow. They had the e-ticket books, right? A, B, C, D, E. So you paid more right. to ride things. But you could go in for three fifty and sit on Main Street and watch the horses right. go by. Can they bring that back? Because I'd like to just go sit and enjoy the outfits. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Okay. That's great. That one's gone. Okay. Just a few more questions. The score okay. is 12 to 10. Okay. All right. At Fort Wilderness, where does the Hoop de doo review take place? Oh, Lindsay. Pioneer Hall. Pioneer Hall, 12 to 11. <laughs> Very good. Let's put a picture right here of Lindsay in Hoop de doo review. Look at it. Adorable. I love it. Okay. Our, as we, uh, a video popped up from two years ago. I had been friends with the people at the Hoop de doo the night before, and um, my son, who was two at the time, called it the Hoopy doo Hoopy-doo. Hoopy doo Hoopy-doo review. I love it. It's so fun to stay there. And of course, that show is awesome. Okay. What year did the Hoopty Doo review open? You probably know this. Adam. I'm going to say 1974. 1974 is right. 13 to 11. I can't I believe that. What? They just had like an anniversary. And I, I feel like it was like 48 years. I looked this I looked this up last night. Walt Disney World Fine Arts College Workshop Program were the first six cast members. They Whoa. were college kids and they did it in June to like September and then they were like this is really good. Let's get some professionals to do this and yeah. it's, it hasn't stopped running. 40,000 times, more than 40,000 times for 11 million people. Wow. That's amazing. If you haven't gone to Hoop to Do Review, it is so much fun and hopefully it will be opening this fall. Um, and you get a lot to eat, and it's so much Oh, fun. you get so much to eat. <laughs> it's so it's great. So fun. Okay. Ask, ask for the uh, mac and cheese. This is the mac and cheese extra. Yeah. Because it doesn't come out uh, right away. But yeah. you can ask for it, and they'll right. bring you out the mac and cheese. Love it. And then roll out of it. Okay. <clears throat> Scores 13 to 11. In Walt Disney World, guests are never farther than how many steps from a trash can? Lindsay. 10. Um, That's a good guess. I am going to... That's what my steps. wife guessed. Okay. Steps is hard because I know the reason for the distance between the trash cans, but I'm not sure about the steps. Well, tell us, say tell us what's 30 the... steps. I'm gonna 30 say... steps is correct. All right, 30 steps. What's the, the reason? reason is because Walt decided that between one trash can to the other should be this the distance that it takes him to eat a hot dog. So he Amazing. unwrapped a hot dog, walked while well, he walked, much, he much, ate much, a hot much, dog, much. and then he could throw his wrapper up away in the trash can. 
He was a genius. <laughs> All right, we'll come right back with our final score. Okay, we're back, and with the final score of 14 to 11, we have another Disney Dad champion. Yes. Really great game. Can I see you guys shake hands? Good game. Oh, good game. Really good game. amazing work, Mom. Really, no, you. you really started off extremely strong. Yeah. And it could have been anybody's game. It was game. a good comeback. It, was a, it, was a it could have been anybody's game. Information. Yeah, I do have to thank the Traditions Leadership Team for <laughs> teaching me all about the history of things. Okay, I love it. Now, Adam, when we come to your house, we love it when you grill out and yep. cook, and you guys are so amazing. So, first of all, you need a official Disney ink and paint apron. Oh, I love it. And, because you're so good at cooking, you need a Mickey yes. Mouse uh, oh. oven mitt and set. Now, I can't, I can't let you go home empty-handed, so we're going to give you the Mickey and Minnie earring set. And a special little button and patch that I bet you could give to somebody you love. Oh, I love it. Thank you so nice. much for joining us today for Disney Dad Trivia. I've got Adam and Lindsay Hose, and hopefully you'll see them real soon at Finding Nemo and all around the park. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.